Women's safety device. Abstract the main purpose of this proposal is to use biochips to make sure the security of girls. The biochip that will be inserted within the physical body under the skin detects adrenaline secretion. As adrenaline secretes during both excited and stressful conditions which cannot be applicable be applicable. So, we prefer the organ amygdala which releases amygdalin at the time of fear during sexual assault by the chemo sensor which is integrated into the biochip. Fear the expectation or anticipation of possible harm. Then the information of the health conditions of the person is programmed into the chip. That data is further analyzed by using AI. After analyzing, if the secretion of the hormone is increased than the traditional level of adrenaline, 0140 pg slash ml, it will transmit the signal to the linked IP address like nearby women helplines, police headquarters, and for folks. Keywords component, formatting, style, styling, insert, keywords. I introduction. As India race is becoming an economic superpower, the country is lacking in women's safety with an alarming number of girls succumbing to road accidents and fire-related deaths per annum. As the Indian economy and society embrace new frontiers, the Indian woman of today is more and more a neighborhood of the general public places, claiming her rightful place within the society and therefore the commercial world. She ensures that she is being heard, juggling work, marriage, children, and a home, or abandoning one in favor of the opposite. Women in our country have surely come an extended way, albeit there's an extended way still to travel. 2. Biochip in Biology Biochips are essentially miniaturized laboratories that will perform hundreds or thousands of simultaneous biochemical reactions. This motivates us to believe in making a system that ensures the security of girls. 3. Survey Consistent with the survey report, 92 women are raped per day in India, 4 in Delhi. 1. Raped every 30 minutes in India. Consistent with Indian law. Rape is that the fourth commonest crime. India has gone up to 33,707 in 2013 from 24,923 in 2012. Madhya Pradesh stands first during this crime list. These sorts of rape cases are recorded within the National Crime Records Bureau, NCRB. From this, we will conclude that day by day this sort of crime is increasing in higher order. 4. Problem Statement In today's world, Women's safety has become a serious issue as they can't exit their house at any given time due to some sort of abuse and fear of violence. Even in the 21st century where technology is rapidly growing and new gadgets were developed but still women and girls face problems. Recently everywhere on the planet crime against children is increasing at higher rates. We are proposing a system which may be useful for ladies and youngsters for security purposes. The proposed system for women's safety consists of a biochip which is insertable within the physical body which serves the aim of women's safety. V. Hardware Requirements A. Transponder The transponder is that the actual biochip implant. It's a passive transponder. Being passive it's inactive until the reader activates it by sending it a low-power electrical charge. The communication between biochip and reader is through low-frequency radio waves. The biochip transponder consists of four parts. Their computer microchip, antenna coil, capacitor, and therefore the glass capsule. B. Computer microchip. The microchip stores a singular number from 10 to 15 digits long. Avid, American Veterinary Identification Devices, claims their chips, employing an NNNNNNNNN format because of the capability of over 70 trillion unique numbers. The unique ID number is etched or encoded through a laser onto the surface of the microchip before assembly. Once the amount is encoded it's impossible to change. The microchip also contains the electronic circuitry necessary to transmit the ID number to the reader. See antenna coil, this is often normally an easy, coil of copper wire around ferrite or iron core. This tiny, primitive, radio aerial receives and sends signals from the reader or scanner. Detuning capacitor, the capacitor stores the tiny electrical charge, less than 1 slash 1000 of a watt, sent by the reader or scanner, which activates the transponder. This activation allows the transponder to remit the ID number encoded within the computer chip. Because radio waves are utilized to speak between the transponder and reader, the capacitor is tuned to an equivalent frequency. Because of the reader. E. Geoma sensor. Chemo sensor may be a specialized sense organ cell that responds to a chemical substance like hormones. 6. Software requirements. Python. It is an interpreted high level programming language for general purpose programming. It provides constructs that enable clear programming on both smaller and larger scales. In our proposal it is used to implement the code for artificial intelligence. 7. Implementation 
The chip that is integrated with the sensor and programmed using AI is inserted under the skin of a human being to detect the fear by adrenaline secretion. At the time of sexual abuse, the hormone called the amygdala is secreted. As adrenaline secretes during both excited and stressful conditions which may not be applicable. So, we prefer the organ amygdala which releases amygdalin at the time of fear during sexual abuse by the chemosensor which is integrated into the biochip. This hormonal secretion will not be the same for everyone, it differs from person to person. So, the body condition of that person is thoroughly examined and the information is programmed inside the chip using the Python language. AI is used to analyze the data. By analysis, this data is related to hormonal secretion. If the secretion of the hormone is greater than the normal level the sensor which is embedded in the biochip is used to sense it. This sensed signal is transmitted to the nearby helpline through a wireless system. In this way we can alert the helpline, thereby sexual abuse against women can be reduced. 8. Feasibility The current women's safety devices are wearable which has certain limitations. To overcome these limitations, we have made the devices implantable. One may forget the wearable device take with them which we can overcome with implantable. Our system can sense the problem before it becomes very serious with secures women from many types of sexual abuse. Our proposal is halfway through and we are examining it in our lab, so we got a positive result on our proposal.